Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Hoops Empire. Before we start, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and we're almost at a thousand subscribers, which is crazy to me, but I'm happy that you guys like what I'm putting out. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about empty stats and how young stars like Trey Young and Devin Booker have drastically changed the meaning of it or the validity of it in this playoff run. Empty stats. A phrase thrown around the Twitterverse and most other forms of media. But what does it really mean? Most would imply it means that the statistics that guys put up on poor teams don't mean all too much. That their numbers are invalidated by the freedom of shot selection and lack of pressure to be great. The idea that these players would or could not do the same on a better team, a playoff team, has taken a complete 180 with the recent performances of players like Devin Booker, Trey Young, John Morant, and more. The exceptional play of these under 25 players has led to the topic of this video, the death of empty stats. Let's break it down. Devin Booker is in his sixth year, 24 years old, and had not played his first playoff game until this season. He was always a spectacular player, top tier efficiency, drastically improving playmaking each season, possibly the heir apparent in terms of playstyle to Kobe Bryant. He had a 70 point game before he hit 150 career games played. Again, despite being just 24 years old, he is top 50 among active scorers in the NBA on the all time points list. Any real fan knew he would be the same player, if not better, in a playoff atmosphere. But empty stats arguers would have none of that. Even when Booker set the NBA bubble ablaze, averaging 31 5 and 6 on 63% true shooting, leading the Suns to an 8-0 record just barely missing out on a playoff berth. The empty stats people shift their argument. He only did it because there was no fans. Lots of guys went off in the bubble. If he could lead them to an 8-0 record in the bubble, why couldn't he lead them to a good record the rest of the year? No matter what Book did, there were doubters, but no more. With the addition of Chris Paul, the Suns had the second best record in the entire NBA after being the second worst team in the NBA just two seasons ago. That shift is extremely drastic, and while it may have a lot to do with Chris Paul, Book's production did not falter. Now, the Suns are in the NBA Finals for the first time since 1993, with Book on above average efficiency, averaging 27 points and 5 assists on a possible championship run, even leading the Suns to a crucial 2-0 lead on the Clippers without Chris Paul in the lineup. His play has absolutely ran the empty stats narrative into the dirt not only producing, but producing at a higher level than he did in the regular season. Another guy who has killed the narratives of empty stats is Atlanta's Trey Young. Trey Young saw similar arguments, especially in year two, when he averaged an absurd 29.6 points per game and nine assists per game, becoming the fifth player to average at least 29 and nine in NBA history at just 21 years old. But still, people disregarded what he was doing on the court said it was due to the offensive enabling style of today's NBA, said his team had no expectations so he was playing carefree. But now, in year three, he has destroyed said arguments. Leading the Hawks to not just the fifth seed after being the 14th seed last year, but the Eastern Conference Finals. This includes beating the four seed Knicks, the one seed 76ers, he has risen his level of play, including a historic 48 point 11 assist performance stealing Game 1 from the Bucks in Milwaukee and completely embracing the villain role. People will always find a way to hate. It's just what people do. All these young guys can do is go out there and prove themselves. And these guys have done that and more. They have not just had a good first series, two teams led by players in their first playoff run. If that doesn't speak to the invalidation of empty stats, then I'm not sure what does. But the empty stats argument has always been illegitimate from the start. Through research, I have went back to see when exactly the phrase itself started. It seemed to have been coined all the way in 2008 on Twitter, with an unchanged definition, guys putting up stats on bad teams. Whether it be directed at LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, Russell Westbrook, it clearly means nothing as these are some of the greatest players to ever grace the game. Let's look at some notable players' career stats up until their first playoff berth, and then their statistics in said playoff berth. To show that most great players continue greatness when it truly matters. LeBron James didn't make the playoffs until year three. In his first three seasons, he averaged 26.5 points and 6.6 .6 assists. 
In his first ever playoff run, he averaged 31 points, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists. Steph Curry didn't make the playoffs until year 4. In his first four seasons, he averaged 19 points and 6 assists. In his first playoff run, he averaged 24 points and 8 assists. The Joker, Nikola Jokic, this year's MVP, didn't make the playoffs until his fourth year in the league. In those four years, he averaged just 16 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 assists. In his first ever playoff run, he averaged 25 points, 13 rebounds, and 8 assists, a historic playoff riser. These are just a few NBA greats of this generation, and frankly all time, who have put up stats on bad team, and put up the same if not better stats on a playoff team. There shouldn't have ever been validation to the empty stats claim, even though I myself fell victim to it as well, even up to just a few months ago. I'm not afraid to say I've come to the realization that it is a meaningless and baseless claim. Sure, not everyone exceeds in a playoff atmosphere. However, that should never mean that their raw numbers should be nullified. We should all be glad empty stats are a thing of the past. We should all appreciate generational talents when we see them. With Book and Trey down, we move forward to other stars who have yet to have their chance to shine. Guys like Carl Anthony Towns, Zach Levine, De'Aaron Fox, Zion, and Brandon Ingram, and plenty more. So that's going to cap it off for today's video. Uh, what are your guys' opinions on empty stats? Do you still believe in them? When did you stop believing them if you don't anymore? Regardless, let me know in the comment section. And again, make sure to like the video, subscribe. We're almost at 1K, and most importantly, have a good one.